Welcome to the House of Dior. My name is John Galliano, and today I'm thrilled to be able to show you some of the jewels in Dior's crown, the real stars of the house, the dresses. La Jolie Victoire. The inspiration for the 100th anniversary of Mr. Dior. She was one of his favorite cabin models, um, one of the first of her kind, unclassical in a way, um, and epitomized the youth of, of that time in Paris. Um, and I loved the idea to take her esprit, her spirit, as inspiration. And um, I imagined her kind of finding the underpinnings, the crinoline, the work that's really hidden in a couture dress, and finding that so exciting and um, exhilarating that I wanted to capture that moment, and we called it work in progress. Over here, we have the very famous Taillebar of 1947, a revolution, the new look. This beautiful jacket, soft, draped bosom, tiny, tiny waist, and slightly accentuated hips. Um, was all the rage worn over this full pleated skirt which caused a scandal and over here we have another new look la cocotte incredibly streamlined silhouette slightly gathered accentuating the hips very simple fastening single breasted opening top color in black again molding the bosom and then this extraordinary workmanship of the back hair which gives it this very very edgy very kind of contemporary look and here we have one of the first dresses i did for the house of dior um thinking about mr dior's blooms and his love of gardening and i started to venture into a more oriental garden using the the bias cut technique um, which i love working with it's like working with um liquid mercurial oil and um Fond memories of that one. And then we have another new look, a reinvention, Jaquetta, autumn winter 2003. Here, I'm playing with the mix of both masculine tailoring and the very feminine flu, and almost trying to evoke the passion, the discipline, um, the sound of flamenco. This was inspired by one of my research trips to Venice and Tuscany, which rekindled my passion for Renaissance art. And um, here you can see we took direct inspiration um, from articulated pieces of armor, again, mixing that very tie uh, synonymous with the House of Dior, and the more flu skirt. I wanted to turn couture on its head. This is Natalia's outfit from a collection that was subsequently known as Le Clochard. It was actually inspired by the Ragtime Balls in 1930. And the main artist that inspired me here was Egon Schiele. I just loved the idea of this wonderful muse um, escaping from the canvas and trying to evoke that illustrative line, actually using real paints and emulsion on the toile, then layered with tool to give these very painterly strokes to the dress. What a difference 56 years make. The ultimate jewel in the crown of Dior, inspired by the Empress Sissi. And here you can see, really, the workmanship, the craftsmanship, innovation, luxury, Deal. Today was just a taste of all the ideas that you'll find at the House of Dior. Uh, in my quest for inspiration, um, I hope you've enjoyed the results, um, the creative passion that's involved in producing these stars. After a decade at Dior, it still feels like my very first day at this house. I'm driven and still inspired to bring back glamour and luxury to the streets and to the salons of Paris.